You know, I just got in the uh, standalone Cadex uh, Vista kit, and I noticed something interesting on the back of the box. You notice here on the bottom it says, uh, manufactured by SZ DJI Technology, which is uh, DJI. So Cadex, I don't think, has anything to do with the uh, actual manufacturing of this. I guess they're just maybe reselling it. So people that are worried about the so-called quality of Cadex, although I've never had a problem with Cadex stuff, uh, this is actually made by uh, DJI, at least according to the box. But So let's open it up, see... What comes in this? I haven't decided yet exactly which uh, frame I'm going to put this on. I also have the uh, Beta 95, Beta FPV 95X, but I'm going to put this on some uh, pre-existing frame that I've already got. Oh, there it is. Manual here. It should be pretty straightforward. The main thing is just you have to uh, activate it with the computer. So here's the stuff that it comes with. Here's the. DJI digital camera, and I guess DJI makes this part as well. So there you go. Pretty amazing. That's 20 by 20 holes in the middle, and I guess these holes, these mounting points on the outside are what you would call a toothpick or whoop style mounting, 26 by 26 roughly. So there's that, and then looks like a little wiring harness. And I think you do have to direct solder to this thing. Yeah, these little points right there. But based on everything I've seen, it's pretty easy to hook up. This can accept up to 6S, 2 to 6S battery. So if you're running under 6S, 6S and under, you can just wire this directly into the VBAT, which is what I might do. And if you're not using the DJI remote, you don't need all these wires. But yeah, if you if you have the uh, DJI controller, this has the receiver built in as well. So you don't need to use a separate receiver, which is kind of nice. So yeah, this thing just feels all like a big heat sink. Yeah, I think heat is important on this. you got to be careful. And I probably will not run it over 700 milliwatts, I'm sure. Maybe just leave it on 500, actually. I think it should be like 30 grams altogether. So that's 29.36. And if you add the antenna, then you go up to 31.6. And throw in the wiring harness, why not? 32.78, so 33 grams, as opposed to like, let's say, maybe 10 grams for a typical analog video setup. You know, the camera and VTX are a little bit less. So you're adding about 20 grams, but you're getting what you're getting in exchange is the uh, incredible uh, digital picture. 720p and also yeah this doesn't do some i didn't actually know this until recently that yeah this doesn't do any onboard recording that's one of the ways they're able to make it smaller so no built-in 1080p recording you only have the uh the goggles 720 60 or 120 uh, recording but that's absolutely fine with me because you know for me the digital fpv is all about the experience in the moment so i don't really care too much about missing out on the 1080p although i'm sure at some point this year there will be a, a 1080p version this small but uh, for now this is it this is the business, so let me get this installed in some kind of a frame, and then I'll, I'll come back to it. Okay, after digging through my parts bin, this is what I ended up with. It's a, a Tomoquad CS3 version 1.2 uh, chopstick. And I just have this modified with um, some pretty tall 30 millimeter standoffs here, which I needed to clear this uh, older HDLRC F428 uh, double stack and the uh, Vista. If you're using a single board on the bottom here, you might be able to get away with uh, 25 millimeter standoffs, which you can order the kit with those. And also I'm using the camera mount from the Cineking because it seems to be pretty uh, uh, jello-free. And as you can see, I have the uh, the Vista is actually suspended from the uh, top plate here. And then the flight controller and ESC are mounted to the bottom plate. And I'm using the Airblade 1404 3800 uh, KV motors for um, 4S. And these are the Gemfan uh, 3028 tri, tri blades. And because there is no camera protection, I did find this um, camera protector on Thingiverse. Just a little simple 3D printed uh, ring which I think should provide some decent protection. It's braced against the case, and also the camera mount should flex a little bit in a crash, so hopefully that should uh, absorb and uh, dissipate most of the energy from an impact. We'll see. But I tend not to break cameras too often because I don't fly very aggressively or in too difficult uh, of environments. So here I just have the little antenna zip tied to the uh, back standoff, just the receiver stuck in the back there. No, really, no, not a great place to put the receiver, but that's about the only place I could find. And the wiring on this is quite simple, just uh, four wires, to the air unit, you have the TX and RX, so you can get the OSD information, and then just the power and ground. In the case of this particular setup here, I liked it because the uh, VTX pad on this flight controller outputs the uh, battery voltage, and so that means I can just run this direct battery voltage to power the uh, Vista, which takes 2 to 6S power, and this is just 4S, so that's fine to take the uh, battery voltage, so it's pretty easy to wire up, just 4 wires. Not bad at all. And if you were using the uh, DJI remote control, you'd have to connect up a couple of extra wires, but then you wouldn't have to run uh, an extra receiver because it has the DJI receivers built into this Cadex Vista. 
So anyway, let me uh, show you a quick flight on this. It flew for about five minutes on the same 454S that was flying on the uh, Beta 95, so a little bit more efficient with the uh, bigger props and motors. Uh, unfortunately, I was flying on the same cloudy day as the Beta 95, so it's going to be the same kind of uh, cloudy conditions, but you can at least see how this was flying. It was quite smooth and nice and uh, good for uh, at least five minutes. So pretty happy with this. I'll definitely be getting in some more flights with this and testing the... Uh, uh, Vista system, the DJI system, certainly a little bit more. Trying some more long-range stuff, things like that. I think that's coming up soon. But uh, anyway, for now, please enjoy this flight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.